yeah. I mean, I know these tests very well because I've seen all the questions that were get asked this year. Uh, and I think these tests, you know, they're not perfect, but they uh, do ask quite reasonable questions you might expect of 15-year-old girls. Okay. Now, America's not doing very well. It is a bit of a gross misrepresentation. Some bits of America do very well. Some bits of America don't do very well at all. On average, they don't do brilliantly. But, okay, first of all, uh, they don't do that badly. In that sense, they're somewhere in the middle, I think. Uh, secondly, it's, there is a cultural thing in this, which is that, that it's quite clear that all the Asian countries regard these tests as a matter of national honour. They take them terribly seriously. In America, okay, because I've talked to somebody who, here who has to organise the test. Okay? They have a hard job getting schools to take them. When they take them, it's not regarded as a badge of honour. I don't know what, what, how the students approach them, but I don't think it's as serious as they do in Asia. So you have to take the fact that all the Asian countries come out top with a bit of a pinch of salt. Okay. You don't do physics one year, and then it's four years before you do physics again. It seems to me, looking at the American system, you get physics in, depends which state you're in, but let's say grade 8 in middle school, and then you might do another physics class in high, uh, high school, and then you do a, you know, physics 101 at college. Well, actually, and I look at some of the content of the physics, and it doesn't seem to um, build on what's happened before. Everyone seems to restart from kind of scratch, which is stupid.